All right, then. Let's start looking for those craggy cactuars. first oh no you're way better at the whole putting yourself in harm's way thing fine word of advice don't fight it yes heed the voice of experience <laughs> I do to deserve this. <laughs> Let's head back to the reactor. Short took you long enough. What do you say? Want to jump right into your second trial? <laughs> you know how this ends. <laughs> do I ever? But do you? Holy crap! <laughs> Let's see. 
Let's see. Who looks fit to fight? Ooh, me. Can I give it a go? <laughs> Fine by me. If the little lady wants to show off, I say let her. Okay then. Here he comes. Every little bit helps. You'll see. Here. Go on. I gotcha. This one's for you. This should make you stronger. One more shot! That's it! This one's for you! Ready? Get him! One more shot! Maybe this will do the trick. thought you might be no better than a bunch of bumbling bandits. Ta-da! We done now? <laughs> Not even close. You've still got two more pieces to collect. And they won't come easy. Ah, but I could use a bit of time to shore up the next trial. Seeing as you kind of breezed through the first two. How's about we put things on pause? Here, give me your contact info. That way, I can hit you up when the trial's good and ready. What? Cloud, I think it would be wise to oblige his request. Mm, perfect. You'll be hearing from me soon. Peace. Our hunt is on hiatus? For the time being. I'm afraid our only viable course of action is to await further instructions.
Baby. Let the paint flow along the wall like a gentle sea. Tour Costa Del Sol in style with our wheelie. Monster Burger with Beef Sky Pie. Walmart gets most monstrous meal. What a charming inn. Don't think I want to share a bed with rats. From Costa del Sol's time as a fishing village, perhaps? It probably was. Hey, perfect timing, bro. I was actually hoping to ask you for a little favor. As you know, your boy's debt free. Figured I'd make the most of my financial solvency and give the inn a total makeover. Thing is. You short on hands? Ah, uh, if only, my dear bro. Kind of the opposite problem, actually. Oh, Johnny, a name thou hast claimed is thine. But if thou truly Johnny be, then who, pray tell, am I? So yeah, it's your classic existential crisis. You get the idea. Uh... Beds have all been made. What's next? Huh? Oh, hey, bro. I, I, I told you to stay out of sight. You're just gonna confuse him. Aren't you supposed to be out shopping anyway? Go on, shoot. Oh, how come he gets to talk to my bro and I don't? So unfair. Uh, see what I have to deal with? <laughs> Think you're surprised? Imagine how I felt. Good day, sir. I saw your help wanted ad. Oh, that's... Say, you look awfully familiar. Too familiar. You look exactly like me. N no, please, stay back. Don't come any closer. Ah! Ah! Okay, that last part was just a joke, but... This wouldn't have anything to do with me. Using my ninja skills to create a bunch of clones. Would it? Turns out a few of them managed to stick around somehow. And I think they might have even multiplied. <laughs> I mean, I never doubted my amazing abilities, but even I didn't realize I was capable of doing that. But hey, look on the bright side. At least you aren't short-staffed. Oh, but I am. I sent a crew to fetch materials and haven't heard a word from them since. Turns out I can't rely on myself. My other selves. I'm begging you, bro. You gotta help me out here. A Johnny's a wild beast that can't be tamed. You know that. There's no telling what sort of havoc these bad boys might wreak. Maybe we should lend him a hand? <sighs> Fine. Yes! I knew I could count on you, bro! I sent them off to the coast of Falls to look for materials for the renovations. I want to start there. Bro? What are you doing here? Uh, 
Johnny sent me to check on you guys, help you find materials. Oh, that was pretty smart of me. No, no one, one knows, knows me better than myself. Uh, this whole synchronized talking thing is kind of creepy. We had actually already gathered everything we needed, but then we ran into some fiends and had to zip line for our lives. So unless they took our stuff for some weird reason, everything should still be right where we dropped it. We think. You'll help us get it all back, won't you, bro? The more pieces you pick up, the better off me and me'll be. Having our bro help out's like having a hundred of us. Even better. Throw a hundred Johnnies in a fight and we'd still get our asses kicked. We'd be so scared we'd run before the fight began. is a terrible idea. Uh, I think you meant to say terrific idea? Come on, Cloud. Just imagine how much fun it could be. Hmm. <laughs> well? What did I tell ya? More Yuffies, more fun! This looks like a job for the Yuffie squad! How about we take a look over there? Nah, I think we'd have better luck over there. If it's not materia, I'm not interested. <laughs>
Last of them, right? So, you, you find, find anything, anything bro? bro? Whoa. Honestly, we don't even remember collecting this much stuff. You're incredible. You got that right. Our bro's a cut above. I guess we better get this hall back to our palace, kinda, sorta, by the sea. Which means our work here is done. Right? Well, since you asked... A couple of the other Johnnies went looking for parts to fix the boiler. Wait, there's more of you? Yep, and I bet they could really use your help. I think they were headed toward one of those old Republic-era factories. Tell them Johnny says hi! It's a thing we do. Johnny said that you needed my help. What? No, no I, I didn't. didn't. Wait, was, was it, it you? you? Not me. So, so you're saying, saying it was me? me? No, no way. You're, you're too stubborn, stubborn to ask for help. Hey, you you're talking, talking shit about, about me? <laughs> you two are a riot. Have you thought about starting a two-man show? I bet it'd be a smash hit. Right? So? Well, we were looking for a part to help us repair the boiler. But it turns out, nobody makes it anymore. Then we thought, why don't we just make it ourselves? So to do that, we're hunting for a transmuter chip. Any luck? Sure wish we had a chocobo right about now. <sighs> okay, I'll take it from here. Sweet! We're looking for instructions on how to craft a boiler valve. And if you find one of those chips, feel free to just transmute a valve yourself. Are you trying to give us even more work? You two are the best! Here! X marks the spot! <laughs> <laughs> 
Wait, didn't we try digging there before? Come on, trust me! Baby, this is it! That boiler is as good as fixed. Hot, steamy showers in every room. <sighs> well, we should probably report back to Johnny now that we've bailed out all the others. Uh, actually... There's one more. <sighs> Where is he? Said he wanted to give the hotel royal flair by putting the Tonberry King's crown on display. Last we heard, he was desert bound. Hope he's not dying of thirst or knife wounds. You wouldn't mind going to check on him for us, would you, bro? Not at all. You're, You're the, the best. best! Well, we got a boiler to fix, so we're gonna head back. Our other life is in your hands, bro. Is that a mirage? I can't believe you're here, bro! Me neither. Well, I'm glad you are. You see, we're renovating the hotel. And I thought a Tonberry King's crown would give the place that palatial feel. But it's, uh, somewhere over there. Rumor has it, the Tonberry King lives somewhere nearby. But there's no way your boy Johnny can get through the desert on foot. Listen, bro, I don't know if you were planning to check out the dunes, but if you are, you'd really be doing me a solid if you brought me back that crown. Preferably in the most pristine condition possible. Actually, we already dethroned that royal reject, didn't we? You took down the Tonberry King for us? Thanks, bro! On behalf of all Johnnies! So, where's the crown? shine on that baby it is positively legendary and we went through positively legendary trouble to get it for you don't worry the fruits of your labor are gonna be on full display man i can't wait to see the look on my face when i see this i'm gonna take this baby back to the hotel be sure to swing by when you have the chance i'm sure one of me will have something real nice waiting for you
They say this area has an uh, interesting history. What a charming yes. inn. One of those drooled in the soup. Soul of time. Hang loose. Looks like another fine day in paradise. Shall we commemorate it with a photo? Did this inn catch your eye as well? <laughs> Figured it might. While it's a far cry from the five-star hotels on Main Street, it has a certain appeal. I suspect this area has a plethora of photogenic spots. Whipped up a nice pot of Johnny's special soup. I think it's getting... Good news, bro! All of me made it back in one piece. And it sounds like I really put you through the ringer. Sorry about that. <laughs> no biggie. So, what now? Want me to poof him? What? No, not yet. We're in the middle of renovating, and I'm gonna need all my hands on deck to finish. At the end of the day, I want to be able to say I remodeled this place all by myself. Right, Johnnies? Yeah, bro! So yeah, me and Mies are set on seeing this through the end. But once we're finished, it's gonna be the finest hotel in the whole world. Just you wait. So, what do you think, bro? I'm impressed. Without you guys, none of this would have been possible. You're absolutely right. You couldn't have done any of this without my incredible ninjutsu. Couldn't have done it without the J-Squad, either. <laughs> I don't go getting all sentimental. We were just doing what you would have done. You, you said it. We, we all, all want what's, what's best, best for this place. place. It's, it's our home. And, and none, none of us would, would be standing, standing here today if it weren't for, for you, you Johnny, Johnny Prime. Prime. Truly, you are the realest bro, bro. <laughs> well, I'm just happy to know that whatever trials await, we'll face them together. Uh, yeah, about that. Now that all the renovations are complete, I think it's time that we peace out. What? Don't worry, you got this, Johnny. Johnny? You don't need us anymore, Johnny. You've got you. Johnny! Johnny Us! Johnny's! You know, I couldn't stand listening to them bicker. And now, I already miss the sound of our melodious voice. I lost a part of myself today. You gonna let that stop you? Huh? You've got a hotel to run. That's true. I remodeled this place with my own 14 hands. I owe it to me and myself to see that our hard work doesn't go to waste. Oh yeah! I'm gonna be seven Johnnies in one! <laughs> I think one of you's more than enough. Oh, that means a lot coming from you, bro. Oh, almost forgot. I set up a little space to show off your collection. I'd love to showcase any rare or interesting artifacts you happen to come across. And rest assured, you'll be handsomely rewarded for them. I've got my heart set on becoming the best in the business, so look out, hotel industry! We'll attract guests from far and wide, with luxurious lodgings and unbeatable hospitality. But you'll always have a room with your name on it, my bro, cause when you're here, you're Johnny. <laughs>
will display your donations with pride in our exclusive collection. It's chink. Hey there. Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Good going. Association was impressed too. Bumped you up a rank. Your technique isn't exactly where it needs to be, but you've got promise, that's for sure. If you can develop your talents more, I guarantee you'll go places. you talk to this old fella instead. Hmm. He's tough. Tougher than he looks. And real good at solving people's problems, right? Don't get all bent out of shape. Besides, I'll always be older than you. Whatever. Well, what's the problem? Uh, you see, Mr. Birdie ran away and hasn't come back. Oh, Mr. Birdie is a bird friend of ours. His head is all pointy. Kind of like yours, mister. Pointy, huh? I bet they're talking about Cloud Jr. Who's that? Your bird friend. He had a run-in with a nasty fiend, and we saved his tiny behind. No way! You guys! Grandpa said he saw Mr. Birdie heading toward the desert! What? But well, we aren't allowed to go all the way out there. You just leave it to us. We'll find your friend. Really? Promise. Great. Grandpa said there's some old birdhouses out in the desert that people built back in the Republic days. He said those are good places to set traps. Oh, and my mommy told me you can craft them yourself if you've got the right chip. Don't you worry. We'll get those bird traps ready in no time, won't we? All right then. Let's go find our bird, buddy. He'll definitely be happy to see you. At least somebody will be. I understand there's no making amends for how I did these no people chirpies, wrong, but we ain't I gonna save help. you if you get me. I need to help. What happened with the reactor wasn't your fault, you know. I could have told you that. No, I ain't the one who proposed building the damn thing. That was Shinra. Just hitched my wagon to it. Right.
took a while to... Think we ought to do something for Cloud Junior, don't you? Kids gotta eat. And now, we wait. Might as well rig the other traps then. Life was a hell of a lot simpler. I expect you'll find this hard to... That's the last of the traps. Our bird might have already been caught in one of the others. Only one way to find out.
We've got more.
Hey, I think we finally found our boy. Look. Let's move. Too bad. Monster Chow. Oh, is that your way of saying you're good on your own? But go straight home, you hear me? He did. When we found him, we said, your friends are looking for you. You head straight home. <laughs> no wonder. Thank you so much. Hey, just doing a job. Go on, eat up. Someday you're gonna be big and strong and scare away all the monsters. Hope I can bring Marlene back here one day. Tell her about her home and everything else. Uh, you sure that's a good idea? 
I owe it to her father. You'll feel better, maybe, but how do you think she'll feel? Don't know, man. <sighs> What's up? My dad says we're supposed to stay away from you. Sorry. That's so. <laughs> well, don't want to get you in trouble. Us old fellas gotta go. Take care of Cloud Jr. Thanks again for all your help, mister! Don't mention it! So, you have begun to fulfill your potential. Long have I awaited this day. <laughs> At ease, young soldier. I took your measure the moment you set foot in this town. Hard not to, given your presence. I am Navalon of the Thousand Eyes. Years of meditation have granted me sight beyond sight. It is this clarity which shows me all. Even that which some wish to keep hidden. You exude a powerful yet troubled aura. Indeed, it makes you the perfect opponent. Come, and don't you dare hold anything back.
my name is Ladrell Balmont, and I am the creator of the game Queen's Blood. Which means that this nightmare is of my own making. I didn't know. How could I? <laughs> you hear her too. Time's running out. <laughs> She's calling me. Commanding me. She's made me her prisoner. Her cursed guard, my shackle. The end is nigh. Or perhaps this is only the beginning. The Shadow Blood Queen is. Let me guess. You have dreamt the dream of Ladrell Balmon too. What do you know about it? Mm. Only rumors and hearsay that players of particular skill have experienced strange visions of late. Visions in which one is visited by the ghost of the game's creator, who speaks of portentous events. To add another wrinkle, some of the world's very best have recently met with unnaturally violent deaths. People are calling this the Curse of the Drell. Not even my third eye can discern the true cause, though it is clearly something sinister. If you wish to continue on the path of the cards, then remain vigilant, though it may be to your undoing. Little Miss Carsick, 
We're almost there. Hooray. Buggy. We'll need to carry on on foot. Oh, I meant to say, there's a village up this way. Fancy popping in? The reactor's not going anywhere, and I bet we could all do with a wee cat nap, eh? <laughs> sure, uh, that's... Uh-huh. Cloud, you okay? I just... I feel like I've been here before. <laughs> 